Hey everyone! So today we're working on a 12 by 12 but this canvas is two inches deep so she's a big one. But we're gonna do a bottle bottom pour. Uh, this is Payne's Gray with the gunmetal metallic mixed in base paint and we're gonna be doing some shades of purple on here with sterling silver as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these tops off. I already shook them up so we're ready to go. So we're going to start with the sterling silver. Uh, this is the Hint water bottle bottom, which gives us seven petals. So I just like to let it run off on its own. Sometimes I'll stop to make sure I have enough of the contrast color and I may add more. Now with this flower, we're going to be turning um, the bottle bottom on each layer and we're going to do three layers. So as soon as I feel that that's done dripping. We're going to turn. And we're going to start over. I don't want a perfectly centered flower. I want to be able to let it maybe run down the sides a little bit since this canvas is very interesting. would be a fun canvas to um, put on a spinner. <laughs> I always think of things after I set up. Okay, we're going to go one more. We're probably going to have a crappy little center in the middle underneath, but we'll take what we get and work with it. So I think I might put some dark purple last. I did one of these before and I ended with white, but I used a uh, gray background. That painting sold before I even had a chance to varnish it, <laughs> so I ended up resining. Okay, I'll let that come together and see what happens. And you can always help it along if you want your center to come together. Just push your canvas down a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to pull this one in. through there but not all the way to the middle and then on the last one we can pull out just a little bit because I think this will go over the edge and she's always already coming towards me <laughs> okay it's a bigger canvas so we have a lot more to play with 
I want to make sure all my paint is running together before I tilt. Okay, so I'm going to head to that corner first. What I'm doing right now is just stretching it out before I decide <clears throat> which edge I'm going to take over. But it already snuck over on this side. So we're going to go ahead and go with it. I love the reaction that you get with that sterling silver. That is a deco art jar paint. I'm just going to bring it this way a little bit and I think I'm going to leave that corner. I do want to pull that out. Love the sides. Let me give it a torch and see. Get some new cells. That's going to be it for this one, I think. I'm not... I love the sides. I wish I could show them to you. <laughs> I can't bring my camera down. But um, when it's dry, I'll show up Monday night when it's dry. So you can see the sides. But if you haven't subscribed yet, click below. Click on the bell for notifications so you'll know when we upload a new video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you have any comments... Um, please let me know uh, if you'd like to see something in particular. Um, click like and share. Leave your comments below. Join us on Facebook at the Paraj Posse. Uh, you don't have to be an artist to join our group. Uh, it's just a place for everyone from our channel to get together and look at art. Everybody posts their beautiful pieces. It's just a great group and there's no drama in this group. Um, also, shop with us on Amazon for all your paint pouring supplies. We have the torches, the trays, everything's in there. If you um, are looking for something in particular and you can't find it, please let me know. Um, reach out to me on Facebook under Christina Welch Art and you will be able to ask me questions there as well. So thanks so much for watching. Check out the links below and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye now.